So we're on buoyancy calculations part one. This is example question one. In part one, we are looking at just describing the buoyancy of an object based on the information given to us in the question. We have a question appearing on the screen as I speak. What we're gonna do is look at the question and draw a diagram to represent what the question is describing. Once we've drawn the diagram, we're going to use the numbers from the diagram to fill in our one, two, three approach. So we've got a body of water and we have an object in that body of water. We're just drawing a square here. And we know that object has a downward force, which is its weight in kilograms. We know it has an upward force. That is based on its volume and the type of water it is in. A calculation is required to find its upward force. We are going to multiply. Always put a multiplication sign next to the upward arrow. So, what is the weight of the object? It is 209 kilograms. We can fill that in under the downward force. What is the volume of the object? It is 200 liters. We can fill that in in the middle of the object. Now, we're going to look at the type of water. We see it's salt water. So we're going to put the salt water constant 1.03 kilograms per liter. And we're going to multiply the first two numbers out. 200 times 1.03 is 206 kilograms. That number is what goes under step one in our three step process. We subtract the weight of the object from the upward force. We're wanting to find the difference between the upward force and the downwards force. So we now have 206 minus 209. It is negatively buoyant by three kilograms. This object is sinking. It is sitting on the bottom of the ocean. It is negatively buoyant.